Uh, today I am going to explain what are the different softwares used for uh, the analysis and design of the structures. Uh, so especially those students who are at the PG level, M Tech civil structural uh, side. So they at least must be aware about the different softwares used for the, the analysis and design purpose. Uh, some softwares which are used, uh, so they are has a uh, graphical interface and some are ha having the program based software out there. Uh, so ANSYS, MATLAB, uh, then uh, these are the softwares which are a program based software. So in that it is required to do some programs and then you will get some output results. So that is program based softwares are very useful if you are doing some research. Uh, so in that case by using, uh, by developing some codes, uh, so you can carry out your research work. But if suppose in the case of uh, the field that is a commercial uh, point of view, the software must be graphical interface. So in the case of graphical interface, the structural, structural model which is uh, developed, so we can see that particular model and what are the deformation displacement easily we can, we can see it or we can measure it. So uh, graphical interface softwares are very uh, easy for uh, doing the work. That is one thing. And then what are the different softwares available? So the list is very big, but uh, nowadays in India, uh, the Stad Pro is commonly used. So Stad Pro is very user friendly softwares and being a structural engineer, uh, this is the basic type kind of the software and we mu must do it. Uh, we must know it. So Stad Pro in this, we can do analysis and design of uh, the RCC, RCC structures as well as the steel structures. Uh, that is one thing. Uh, but before to use any software, the one more software actually uh, we also must be known that is AutoCAD, which is a purely uh, a drafting software. So many softwares are such that, so whatever the files in ATAC, uh, so that can be import in the, for the analysis in the, these particular softwares. So it is very much essential that you must know the, the knowledge of the AutoCAD. Then regarding after the STAD Pro, the next type of the next software, which is a, uh, it is a CSI product. It is a computer science structure is one, uh, uh, this thing, uh, one company is there. So, so which is, which is located in California. So this is, you are seeing uh, the name of this. So this particular company is, is there in America, headquarter is America, California. And this company was started in the year of 1975. Okay, 1975. So they have developed different softwares. Okay, so initially they have developed SAP 2000. Okay, then later on, so SAP 2000 is a software which is a very versatile. So by using this software, so we can do analysis and design of almost all type of the structures, building frame, then steel structures, then steel towers are there, bridges are there, elevated water tanks, then uh, the tank resting on the ground, elevated like this, extremely. So that is all type of the structures can do uh, its analysis in SAP 2000. And also this particular software is very essential for the seismic analysis. So performance-based design, one new design philosophy is there. So in which the time history analysis, pushover analysis is carried out. So that is easily possible in SAP 2000 because these methods, okay, these analysis methods are inbuilt in SAP 2000. So it is very good software. Then CSI has developed some commercial softwares. So first is they have developed a CSI bridge, then, then ETAB is there, SAFE is there, then PERFORM 3D and CSI column. Uh, so if we know one software, CSI product of any, suppose you know a SAC 2000, then easily you can work in the remaining commercial softwares. And these are commercial softwares in the sense, for example, in the case of bridge, in the case of bridge, just I will uh, show the, the product of the, uh, CSI. <coughs> okay, now here. So this is, as I said, this is the first software which is developed by CSI. That is a SAP 2000. Okay, then next is, this is a first, you know, you heard this, the name of this particular software. It is ETAP. ETAP is the software developed by CSI. And in the ETAP, only the building frames analysis and design is we can do. So therefore it is it is mentioned here, integrate building analysis and design. So it may be still uh, building frames or it is a RCC building frame. Uh, so we can do very efficiently and effectively in ETAP. 
Okay, so the, the whatever the algorithm made in ATAP, that is only for building. So therefore, analysis of the building structure is possible very fastly in ATAP, and more commands are also given in ATAP. Commercial uh, commands are which are uh, which are required for the commercial purpose. So that is there in the ATAP. Uh, world tallest structure that is a Burj Khalifa. So that is ATAB is also claiming that most of the analysis and design part uh, is also contributed by ATAB software. So it is very good software. Okay, so ATAB, this is also a product of the uh, this thing, CSI. Second, CSI Bridge is another commercial package. So in this particular software, only analysis and design of the bridges are carried out. Uh, so it may be steel bridge, it may be concrete bridge, pristress kind of the bridges. Uh, so this is possible in CSI bridge. So algorithm is made for this. Then next, this is very interesting software that is a perform 3D. So there is, so this is a, uh, in seismic analysis, there is one uh, innovative design philosophy is there, which is widely implemented in the developing country. So that is a performance based design. <coughs> so perform based design. Uh, so this particular design philosophy is based on the uh, displacement based method. So in the analysis, there are two um, uh, ways are there by which we can do the analysis and design. That is first is known as a force based method. And number two is called as a displacement based method. So in the, in the case of force based me method, uh, all the analysis and design is carried out by using a ultimate force. Okay, so ultimate force is there. But and in the case of uh, displacement method, the displacements are uh, taken into account for the analysis and design. Okay. Now, what are the limitation of the force method? Best method is that force method methods are very good into linear stage only. Okay. Up to yielding, we know that once the structure or the element yields, okay, then its force carrying capacity becomes to very negligible. Okay. So therefore, after yielding, force will not increase. Resisting force will not increase, and therefore, force based method fails in the non-linear range, right? But this is not their case in the case of displacement based method. So in the case of displacement based method, even after yielding, we can, we can uh, measure the response of the uh, response in terms of displacements because displacement goes on increasing after the yielding also. So therefore, in the case of seismic analysis, in severe seismic analysis, especially, the structure or element essentially undergoes the non-linear range. So to deal with these displacements or the nonlinear response, we require the method which is based on displacement based method. And that comes in performance based design. So therefore, performance based design is a most popular method. It, this is a new design philosophy which is used in developing countries. I'm saying here developing countries because in India, still the method is based on force based method. It is a strength based method. Still we are, uh, in seismic analysis, IS 1893, the two methods mentioned, equivalent static load method and response spec me spectrum method. So, but both are linear method. Okay, these are not the displacement method. These are the force-based method. And therefore, therefore still in Indian uh, code, it is, it is this particular method, that is displacement method or perform-based method, it has not been incorporated. So this particular software, Perform 3D, is very efficient to do the seismic analysis, which is based on the performance-based design. So that is a speciality of this software. Then second is of a CSI column. Okay, so is other commercial product of CSI. So it is CSI column. So it is a design and enforcement of only columns are carried out in this part. Then you may ask that it's, it is also possible in other softwares. In ETAB and ETAB and this thing, perform this, columns are there. Always column is a very important element and to every structure columns are there. Okay, so that is not a case. So CSI column in the sense, some, there are some uh, special type of the columns. For example, composite columns. Okay, composite column, RCC, uh, the column is uh, encased by a, into a steel tube. So this is a composite columns are there. So regarding composite columns, uh, you will get more details equations in Eero code, right? So uh, the software, also we require the software for to deal with such uh, composite, uh, the structure, uh, the columns. So CSI column is the best. Another key example is that some typically shaped columns, 
uh, especially flyovers are supported by some uh, mushroom shaped columns right okay so that is a, a inverted umbrella something shape is like this uh, many times we, we we have seen also this so to deal with such a special type of the columns uh, so it is better to use for the csi column the another is a safe is there okay so so is this particular software is for the flooring system okay flooring systems it may be a roof floor that is slab especially plate element so we can use uh, we can do uh, the this thing uh, the, we can use this particular software or uh, in the foundation there is a raft is there or it is a sprayed foundation concrete flat uh, flat slab foundation is there so in that case it is uh, it is better to go for the safe one this thing then csi plant okay so this is for piping system okay so in petrochemical industry there are you might be seen that is there are many uh, it is a in that there are you it consists of many pipes okay number of pipes are there so this is there is a design for that so for that there is a csi plant so these are the commercial softwares from csi product okay this is from csi so that is as i said that is if you know one and original software is sap 2000 original sap is sap 2000 everything is possible in sap 2000 okay and these are other than sap 2000 are the commercial software which are which are uh, developed only for the specific purpose uh, that is one thing then apart from this that is apart from csi product stad pro uh, we require some other softwares also. For example, I will recommend to use a RCDC software uh, because in, for example, building structure. Okay, so in the build ETAB, uh, we can do analysis and design. So instead of that, I will uh, recommend to you that you do or carried out the analysis of the building in ETAB or StatPro. Okay, and then import that particular file into RCDC. RCDC is a is a software which is which is used for the design of all the elements of the building, column, beam, it is lab also, piles are also there. We can design this. Not only design is carried out, we will get the design results in the form of tables. Okay, and just you after uh, just checking properly, then you just uh, take the printout of this and send to the site. Okay, so no much more. Uh, what is called as a uh, drafting work is required. So if you use a RCDC and so RCDC is also a software uh, is I am recommending. So that is only one software is not sufficient to carry out any project. We we have to use a, uh, this uh, that a drafting uh, software, design software, analysis software. So based on the project, uh, pro, uh, the product we have to you uh, we have to change the uh, this thing. Suppose elevated water tanks are there. So elevated water tank design is also we can carry out SAP 2000 in Strad Pro, which is also possible. Then in uh, ETAB also you can take the file, import the file, and uh, uh, in uh, RCDC also we can import the file and do some detailing work. Nowadays there is a one more seismic code is there. So IS 1893 is there, but IS 13920 is there, which is ductility code. So all this detailing of the reinforcement where to do it is there in the RCDC. So therefore go for this. Okay, so this is about the some a few softwares are there. Apart from this, there are some few softwares which are which are a, uh, which are required to do some programming. The MATLAB and CC is there. So in that, it is required to do some coding work. But actually, these are not recommended for the doing actually the field work on the field. These are not commercial. For research purpose, we can use these particular softwares. So these are the few softwares. These are not complete. The list is very big. Okay, so based on in some construction in structural uh, companies, uh, it is also it is also that they have developed their own software also. They are not using this commercial software. So based on their experience knowledge, they have used uh, this thing. They have developed their own uh, software and they are using this. So at the end, just I want to mention is that which software is not important. Okay, important thing is that what is the result given by the software we must able to assess it correctly whether whatever the, it is after all softwares whatever the input given it will give the result so whether the result given is a correct or incorrect we must be able to miss capable we must be capable uh, to assess this particular result so that is the these points i want to uh, highlight to you 
So, uh, so being a structural consultant, uh, in future you may become as a structural consultant. So very thoroughly uh, this uh, study of all these uh, softwares. At the end also, I forgot to mention there is a stress tracing uh, part is also there. Uh, some that is uh, uh, this uh, deck deck slabs in the case of uh, flyovers are always stress stress. Flat slabs sometimes it is also of uh, commercial buildings are also stress stress. So we require software for this. It also is possible in this to do the stress tracing work. So all this is it is required to study carefully and properly. Uh, so this is about the, uh, some introduction about the software. So my intention through this video is just to create an awareness regarding the software to you. Softwares are making our work very simple one. So work it very uh, this thing cautiously on the softwares. Thank you.